He wears the number one jersey for both country and clubs. He has played in several football matches spanning several years. In most of these matches, he has kept clean slates for his team. He has grown in his career through the years and has gained professionalism as a goaltender. His name, Vincent Enyema. In this edition of Back in History, we bring to you the story of the birth, parentage, education, career, and family of one of Nigeria's and Africa's foremost goalkeepers who has had the privilege of plying his trade at home and abroad and who has won several laurels in his chosen career. We also bring to you the story of how he rose to become Africa's best goalkeeper of all times. Welcome to this edition of Back in History. Vincent Zenyema was born on 29th August 1982 in the city of Abai in Abia State, Nigeria. He hails from Urainyang village in the Kaloku government area of Akwaibom State. His hometown Ika is a boundary neighbor to Abia State where he was born. His father is Philip Enyama, who was a professional footballer in his heydays. His father is a devout Catholic and has his residence somewhere close to the University of Uyo in Akwaibom State. Living close to the university community, his father has been a parishioner and a church warden for many years at St. Peter's Catholic Chaplaincy in the University of Uyo. His mother was Lucy Philip Enyema. While raising their children, Philip and Lucy were disciplinarians who combined their effort in the training of their children, all of whom have today carved niches for themselves in their chosen careers. Madam Lucy is now deceased. It is reported that Vincent's first coach was his father, Philip Enyema. As noted earlier, his father had played professional club football in his heydays, though he did not attain the magnitude of fame that his son has attained in the round leather game today. But Philip bears credit for putting his son through the rudiments of the game of football through routine practices. Several persons within the university community and its environs have said that on several locations, they had seen Vincent running around the main football field of the University of Uyo with his father Philip and later stepping into the goalpost to receive shots from his father in the bid to hone his skills in goalkeeping. Others have said that his father was not merciful with the shots. He simply made the shots real and as though the shots were taken by someone in the opposing team. While he was still physically strong, Philip Enyema was a very athletic man, even in the way he walked to church and to other places. And Vincent owes so much to him as a father figure and as his first coach. Philip and Vincent can thus be likened to Pele of Brazil, whose first coach in football was his father, and to Serena Williams and Venus Williams, whose first tennis coach was their father. Indeed, there seems to be something unique when a parent is the coach of the child. Vincent started his professional football career in Ibom Stars in Akwaibom State, in the Niger Delta region of Nigeria, where he played as a goaltender from 1999 to 2001 and made 56 appearances. While playing for Ibom Stars, he was spotted by Enyimba FC of Aba, Nigeria, and was much sought after. He signed for Enyimba and played with the club from 2001 to 2004 and made 100 appearances for the club. Vincent had a beautiful career at Enyimba. During his time at Enyimba, Vincent played around the continent of Africa and with him as a goaltender, Enyimba won the CAF Champions League trophy twice. 
From 2004 to 2005, Vincent played for Iwanyawu National of Oweri, also in Nigeria, where he made 36 appearances for the club. Vincent at this time had shown remarkable competence in goalkeeping and was closely monitored by clubs outside Nigeria. In 2005, he was signed by Nei Yehuda of Israel. He played here from 2005 to 2007. He made 56 appearances for the club. From Nei Yehuda, he was signed by Hapel Tel Aviv. Also in Israel, where he played from 2007 to 2011. He made 113 appearances for Hapel. In 2011, he signed a contract with Lille of France and played with them till 2018. At Lille, he had a record 143 appearances for the club. From 2012 to 2013, he played for Maccabi Tel Aviv on loan. At Maccabi, he made a total of 27 appearances. Vincent also played as goalkeeper for the national team of his country, Nigeria. In the national team, he had a fairly long career spanning from 2002 to 2015. Vincent made his debut for the Nigeria national team against Kenya in May 2002. He got selected for the 2002 FIFA World Cup as a cover for Ike Shurumi, who was the first choice goalkeeper at the time. In the set tournament, Vincent kept a clean sheet against England in the third group match. When goalkeeper Ike Shurumi retired from national assignment, Vincent Anyema became the first choice goalkeeper for Nigeria. He played for Nigeria in the 2010 and 2014 FIFA World Cups and also played in the 2013 FIFA Confederations Cup. He also played for Nigeria at the African Cup of Nations tournament and through his superlative saves, Nigeria was able to reach third place finishes in the 2004, 2006, 2010 African Cup of Nations tournament. In the 2013 edition of the tournament, Nigeria went on to win the trophy with Vincent Anyema as the team's captain. Anyema was captain of Nigeria's national team from 2013 until his retirement from international football in 2015. He had a total of 101 caps for his country and became Nigeria's most capped player since the country's independence in 1960. Anyama kept this record until recently in 2021 when he was surpassed by Ahmed Musa. Anyama retired from national assignments in October 2015 following the reaction of the then national coach Sonde Olise towards him. The story has it that Anyama had gone to Rainyangika in Akwaibom State to bury his mother. At this time, his national teammates were in Belgium preparing for a tournament. Immediately after his mother's funeral, Enyema left Ika and headed to the camp but arrived one day behind Shedu, apparently because of the distance from Ika through the other parts of Nigeria by road down to Belgium by air. On arrival at the camp in Belgium, an altercation ensued between him and the coach. When the coach announced at dinner, that Enyema was not going to wear the captain's ban anymore and that the ban was from henceforth to be worn by Ahmed Musa. In his interview to the press, Enyema said that he sought to know if he had done anything wrong to be stripped of the captain's ban in the way and manner he was stripped openly at dinner without any prior courtesy of letting him know about the decision of the coach before the meeting. But the coach was not pleased with his inquisition and thus decided to tell him to exit the meeting and to exit the camp with immediate effect. Ulisse then refused to field Enyema. In his interview published in Nairaland.com on 10th October 2015 and also published in Completesports.com, Enyema was asked the question, 
what really happened at the camp between you and Ulisse? In his response, he said, unquote, When I came to camp, I had no issues with my coach. The coach has been a big part of me. He is there for me. I have never had an issue with him. The first thing that happened when I first arrived at the camp was a meeting. At the meeting, the coach addressed the players. The first thing he said was that he invited four goalkeepers to camp because he never expected me to come to camp. Then secondly, he said that I was no more the captain of the team, that he had decided and that he calls the shots. He ended his speech with, quote, enjoy your dinner. For me, it was a little bit shocking because I spoke with the Nigerian Football Federation chairman Amaju Penik during the burial of my mother in Akwaibo. I was trying to excuse myself from coming to the camp because of the burial. He said, no, Vincent, you have to be in camp. He pushed me to be in camp. And because I really respect him, Pinnick, I told him I was going to leave everything. The Thanksgiving service for my mother. I told him I was going to abandon it and come to the camp, which I did. All the family meetings, everything we had to do with the people in the village, I abandoned all and came to the camp. So for me, to get my first welcome message of being stripped of captainship was a little bit not good for me. Vincent continued, still on quote, At dinner, after I had taken my food and ate, I, I said, Coach, please, I would like to say something. He said, no, you can't talk. I insisted that I wanted to talk. He insisted that I can't talk. He then said that if I wanted to talk, he would order the team out and nobody would listen to me and I would sit there and talk alone or would have to walk out if I insisted on talking. I said, coach, I still want to say something. And he said, Vincent, get up. You have to leave now. If you don't leave, I am going to call the security to throw you out of this hotel. He then got up, went to the door and opened it and commanded me to go out. He said, go out, go out, Vincent, or I am going to call the security. So that is how it played out. So for me to lose my mother, be invited to the camp, only to be stripped of captainship, then out of argument, to be threatened to have the security called for me, I think it is the height of it. I feel that's not the right way to be treated. End of quote. Eyema left Belgium and returned to his family and thereafter retired from national football duty. Several Nigerians reacted angrily over the way and manner one of their all-time best football players was treated by the national team coach, which led to his untimely exit from the team. Thousands of football fans wanted him to be recalled, but Nyema thanked everyone for their love and support and insisted that it was time to hang his gloves and leave the national team, having put in a total of 13 years of committed service to the nation. He then concentrated his efforts in his club assignment where he continued to make exceptional serves for his clubs. He is a successful football player by all reasonable standards. He is known as a deeply religious man who leads his teammates in prayers before the commencement of play, during halftime breaks and when they return to the dressing room. In the course of his glittering career, he has had several honors to his cap. While playing for Onyeba FC in Nigeria, he was honored with medals for leading his team to three consecutive victories in the Nigerian Premier League for the year 2001, 2002, and 2003. He also won the CAF Champions League medal when his team Onyeba won the trophy in 2003 and 2004. 
as Habel Tel Aviv FC. He was honored with a medal for the club's emergence as the winner of the Israeli Premier League for 2009 2010 season. He also received medals from the Israel State Cup for the 2009 and 2010 season, 2010 2011 season. At Maccabi Tel Aviv, he also received the victory medal for the Israeli Premier League 2012 and 2013 season. While playing for Nigeria, he won the African Cup of Nations in 2013 and was decorated with a medal along with his teammates. Nyema is indeed a well-decorated team player. Nyema also had individual awards in appreciation of his superlative performances in the beautiful game of football. The awards include 1. CAF Champions League Player of the Year Award 2003 and 2004 2. Footballer of the Year in Israel Award 2009 3. UNFP Player of the Month Award October 2013 and November 2013 4. Prix McVivian 4 Award 2014 5. African Cup of Nations Team of the Tournament Award 2004 and 2013 6. Goalkeeper of the Year Nigeria Peach Award 2013 and 2014 7. King of the Peach Nigeria Peach Award 2014 8. Gold Nigeria Player of the Year Award 2014 9. International Federation of Football History and Statistics CAF Men's Team of the Decade Award 2011 to 2020. The International Federation of Football History and Statistics, best in France, has also ranked goalkeeper Vincent Tenyema as the greatest African goalkeeper in history. Vincent was recently appointed by French club Irish club De Croix Football as coach in charge of all goalkeepers from the club's reserve team down to its under-16 side. Vincent is a well-loved goalkeeper at home and abroad. He's a friendly person who associates freely and honestly with fellow teammates and many others. He is married to his wife, Promise Vincent Anyema, whom he wedded in June 2006 with the legendary Kano Wankwo serving as his best man. The marriage is blessed with two lovely girls and one boy. Vincent and Promise met as undergraduates at the University of Uyo, where they both studied applied chemistry. Vincent successfully graduated from the institution despite his busy training and playing schedules and is a member of the University of Uyo Alumni Association. Vincent has made material fortune and fame playing the beautiful game of football. A devout Christian, Vincent considers himself as a product of God's grace. Thanks for watching this episode of Back in History and do remember to subscribe to the channel or follow the page for regular notification on every new video.